largest technology exhibition, Jitex 2023, was held in Dubai. The central theme of this year was AI in everything. And indeed, in the largest city of the Arab Emirates, artificial intelligence is built into almost any new product or system. Moreover, it's very actively supported by the state. And yet, the real decoration and magnet for visitors of the exhibition were robots and supercars. We have collected for you all the most interesting things presented at Jitex and also took some exclusive interviews. Let's travel together to the real high-tech world of the future. Let's fly! This year, more than 6,000 companies from 170 countries are represented at Jitex. 1,400 speakers take part in roundtables and events. At the same time, the five-day event was visited by 180,000 guests. Visitors were entertained by virtual reality rides, avatars with artificial intelligence, all kinds of gadgets, and of course, robot dogs. For example, a practical Robopod X30 from Deep Robotics, ready to hit the streets in a number of ways. Deep Robotics is a leading company for industrial applications of Robot Dog. This time, we mainly showcase our new generation product, X30. It's a flagship product for industry in multiple fields, including electricity inspection, fire detection, emergency rescue, construction and mapping, education and research, and so on. It has the advantages of traversing obstacles, lawn endurance, quick battery swaps, and reliable auto charging. Compared to earlier editions of the quadruped robot, the operating temperature range of X30 has been extended to between minus 20 Celsius and plus 55 Celsius, greatly broadening the environment and climatic conditions in which it can operate. What? A robo-dog? You can get one of these? Psst, buddy. You want a robo-dog? Then click the link in the description to this video or scan the QR code on your screen right now to get your own X30 from Deep Robotics. Meanwhile, the Swiss Mile Robopod was also spotted at the exhibition. The robot on legs ending in wheels is able to move quickly on a flat road and overcome stairs and obstacles thanks to its stable gait. The bot can also perfectly balance on two legs and can even hold a load in its upper legs. The robot is equipped with 16 motors and cameras all around. According to the creators, it can be used for last mile delivery and surveillance. The big attraction at Jitex 2023, as always, was the humanoid robots. There was no Amika or Sophia robot this year, so it was up to the robot Amina, presented on the wall of the communication company E-Enterprise, formerly known as Eddie Salad Group, to entertain all the visitors. Amina greeted the guests of the stand and told them about the novelties presented, as well as corrected those who allowed themselves too much with the robot. Also on the company's stand was the Prosperity One Air Cab from Autoflight, of which E-Enterprise is a partner. In general, Eddie Salad has been systematically buying up all or part of the most promising startups in the field of robotics and high technology for years, so the company's stand at all exhibitions is always the most dressed up. Prosperity One has a flight range of 250 kilometers and a cruising speed of 200 kilometers per hour. The all-electric vehicle has passenger and cargo versions. It is already certified to fly and will start delivering cargo in January of 2024 and passengers in 2025. The developers say that despite the full autonomy of the aero taxi and certification confirming safety, there will still be a pilot sitting in the cockpit for now. And we think that's right. Certification is one thing, but practice in real conditions is another. There were a lot of service robots at the exhibition. For example, our old acquaintances Pepper Robots danced. Robot waiters were walking back and forth imitating food distribution. And trading robots lured visitors for their future customers. We had a little chat with a representative of the company that developed these robots. Hello everyone, my name is Faisal El-Shamma, I'm the founder and CEO at RoboAds. 
We're happy to be here at Jitex 2023. What do we do at RoboAds? We manufacture robots, but not any type of robots. It's a new type of robots where it showcases advertising to clients. It's called RoboAds. So these robots roam around. They can showcase the brand, the advertising for your business, whether on a three-screen robot like Prism Robot or on a one-screen robot like Opal. While they roam around, they have very good analytics. So they can analyze if you're enjoying the video and then they can change the video based on the customer preference. When it comes to customer service, we have different types of solutions. You can do a video call into the robot and talk to people remotely from anywhere around the world. You can also deploy your own avatar. That avatar can speak any language, whether it's English, French, Arabic, you name it. So this is the future where robots are part of our environment. They are designed to help people and enhance people's lives. We look forward to a very strong future with RoboAds and we thank everybody at Jitex 2023 for their efforts. Thank you. Man, what is this world coming to? Can't even get a discount from this thing? Can't flirt with a clerk? Oh well. Moving on, the Dubai police showed a real James Bond car at the exhibition. It's an amphibious supercar based on a Corvette chassis. The luxury patrol car of rapid response can reach speeds of up to 45 knots or 83 kilometers per hour on water. It has a 1800 cubic centimeter engine. The vehicle can carry up to two passengers and has a maximum weight of 625 kilograms. The car is expected to make a significant contribution to rescue operations and ensure rapid deployment and response to any incidents. All in all, the Dubai police can only be envied. Another striking supercar at Jitex was the Mercedes-Benz Vision 111. It's a concept sports car with an advanced electric powertrain and impressive design. It's equipped with an augmented reality interface that once the driver wears the Magic Leap 2 headset, integrates the dashboard, navigation, media modules, and vehicle information into the environment. The headset also has an X-ray vision function that makes the doors, front pillars, and other elements of the car transparent, giving the driver a better perception of the surroundings. Thanks to the combination of two powerful electric motors on the front and rear axles and a high-performance battery with liquid-cooled cylindrical cells, the German automaker has created a lightweight, experimental car with impressive dynamic characteristics. Recall the Mercedes-Benz recently announced the integration of ChatGPT into its vehicles, Level 3 Autopilot certification, and plans for a network of charging stations. And while the 111 model will never go on sale, some of the innovations featured in it, such as the powertrain, will make their way into production cars. After such a hot concept, we need to cool down a bit, so we head straight for the ice cream cafe. And naturally, it's a robo cafe. And now, we'll find out what its speciality is. Hey everyone! Welcome to Jitex 2023 and our pavilion of VLT Robotics. Here today we are presenting our Cafe Xbot, which is our newest model. And this is the only kiosk in the world that serves multi product, right? So we are able in this kiosk, it's only four square meter. We are able to deliver seven different variations of products, starting with coffee to the milkshakes, to the ice cream with the toppings. We can go on with the food in the boxes, which is like a cakes, uh, cake station, so it can serve like a banana cake and walnut cake and such. It can serve tea and uh, milkshakes are done with the coffee machine using the different variations of syrups, right? So and everything is in four square meters. So here today in Jitex, uh, uh, we are in a pavilion. You are welcome if you want to drop by and try our coffee and ice cream. So oh, let's go, i show you how it's done. The orders are served from 40 seconds to a minute, and that's about half the average wait time at a regular cafe. It's also the only talking kiosk in the world. The language can be set to just about any, and it takes only one or two days, which is pretty fast. So let's see how we make the orders with uh, Xbot Cafe. So there's menus here, then there's like three types of the ice cream. So we can select, for example, one with certain toppings added to the cart. So inside the cart, we can have up to four items. So now if we go back to the menu and we order coffee, 
for example, the cappuccino and add it. So we press pay, pay it with a credit card. So now it will make a cappuccino for us. It's a foam master machine, so the foam will be nice every time. VLT Robotics produces Xbot kiosks in Dubai and sells it as a business. Its clients from all over the world buy kiosks to be placed in their local parks, waterfronts, airports and malls. Locations that can sell an average of 100 cups per day can deliver 80 to 100% yearly return on investment to the owners of these awesome kiosks. If you have a busy mall or park in your town, that might be an idea to think about. At the same time, Dubai police also unveiled its latest autonomous surveillance vehicle. The patrol robot, developed in collaboration with Micropolis Robotics, provides a 360-degree walk-around and overview of the area, transmitting all data to the command center in real time. A drone can also be launched from the four-wheeled all-terrain robot to get an additional aerial view. And finally, a humanoid robot police officer, or rather, customs officer. Pay no attention to the unassuming appearance, this robot is capable of recognizing and assessing the faces and postures of people singly and in groups of up to 7 people from a distance of up to 6 meters. This should help customs officers gather more information about each traveler. Plus, the robot can answer people's questions in their own language and display information on its screen. The bot will also be trusted to perform some of the custom services. At the same time, the humanoid will assess with the help of cameras and sensors how satisfied you are with its work, in passing, determining your gender and age. A robot farmer, capable of precisely planting seeds, growing and harvesting crops attracted a lot of attention at Jitex. The robot knows exactly how much water and nutrients each plant needs thanks to its measurements. The working prototype of FarmBot promises to usher in a new era of high-tech agriculture. According to developers from TDRA, the robot's advanced sensors carefully monitor soil conditions and optimize resource use. The bot also reduces water waste and minimizes the use of chemicals. The planting process itself is performed by two robotic arms under the supervision of a monitoring camera that transmits data to the system to assess the accuracy of the robot's actions. Everything is automatic. All in all, humans won't be needed here anytime soon, either. The cutest robot at Jitex was Miroki from Mirakai Robots. By the way, it was also presented at the stand of E-Enterprise, formerly Eddie Salad. The robot was meant to be an assistant, and its design is inspired by anime. The developers endowed the robot not only with a colorful appearance, but also came up with a whole universe as well as a personal story. That said, the robots are quite capable. They can interact with a wide list of objects, pushing, pulling and transporting carts, medical equipment, medicine, food and more. They can also interact and communicate with humans using voice, gestures and facial expressions. Miroki can sense their surroundings and move autonomously using cameras and sensors. The cutest part is that the robot can even develop personality, which will surely bring them success and recognition if they find real-world employment by institutions such as daycare centers, hospitals, and nursing homes. How did you like the scale of it? The sheer size of this exhibition? Don't you just want to jump on an airplane and and visit one of these exhibitions? Well, guess what? You're in luck because in late November, gear up for Japan's premier robot showcase at IREX 2023. The Pro Robots team is gearing up as well and we want you with us. Witness the cutting edge breakthroughs in robotics and network with top tier Japanese and Asian companies. Tokyo is calling from November 26th to December 3rd. Dive deep into IREX 2023, grasp the future of robotics, secure pivotal local partnerships and get behind the scenes access to world class manufacturing hubs and research nerve centers. The Pro Robot Squad is going big and you won't want to miss out. We give you a special offer. Seal your spot by October 31st and benefit from an exclusive discount rate. 
time's ticking. Register now. The gateway link is right in this video's description. Let's make waves together in Tokyo. A South Korean robotics company, Man.ro, brought something to the exhibition that should revolutionize the field of prosthetic limbs. At least, that's what the developers think. Man.ro engineers are creating 3D printed prosthetic limbs that can be controlled by sensors. Ultrasonic sensors on a bracelet worn on the forearm continuously send sound pulses to the muscle tissue, which then relays commands to the prosthetic arm, triggering real-time movement. The company customizes the bionic limbs through precise scanning and modeling. This completely eliminates the need for costly surgical implantation. For example, a customized hand will cost only $4,000 compared to the standard $100,000. Deep Brain AI presented its product at the exhibition, digital avatars created by generative artificial intelligence. They're already widely used in the Arab Emirates and beyond, replacing consultants and receptionists in the hospitality industry as well as reading news for TV broadcasts. The cost of use is $30 for 10 minutes. Our old acquaintance was also at Jitex, the Artemis robot from the Romila lab at the University of California, Los Angeles. The 1.5 meter tall 38 kilogram bot can run at 2.1 meters per second, making her the fastest walking robot developed to date. The developers say they are creating Artemis in anticipation of a time when machines will replace soccer players. They predict robots will be able to play against human champions sometime in 2050. For now, while waiting for its finest hour, the humanoid is able to walk on uneven and unstable surfaces, as well as run and jump and keep its balance even when pushed hard. Artemis is made of aluminum, carbon fiber and titanium. It uses artificial intelligence to optimize movement. In the future, the robot will be able to open doors, walk up and down the stairs and drive a car. Although, why? This last option is a bit unclear. It's thought that by that time, cars will have long been driving themselves. Also at Jitex, the first humanoid robots with artificial intelligence developed in Africa were presented. Each robot in the Omifi line can communicate in eight languages and perform simple actions such as shaking your hand. The robots were developed by Unicon Group, a Nigerian tech startup that provides innovative solutions to businesses and government agencies across Africa. We also spotted Tesla batteries at the show, or rather, the company's representation in the Arab countries in Africa. There were also drones of different shapes and sizes. And also, a robot bus, as the developer prefers to call it, an autonomous capsule. It can be summoned from an app and will take you wherever you want to go, sometime in the future. Instead of a window, the capsule has screens. They can display both the sights of the city and useful information for passengers, as long as it doesn't end up with the same advertisement on all of them. Don't you agree? How did you like Jitex 2023? Write in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and don't miss our new releases from the world of high tech.